Welcome back, everybody, to the third and final episode of Breaking Mirfield. This is where golfers of varying handicaps take on one of the more notable courses in the Open Rota and the first-time host of the AIG Women's Open. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, head over to the link in the description and get caught up. Uh, we'll pick back up where we left off. Bella Angel is attempting to break 90. She's cruising on to uh, that goal at only eight over through 12 holes. Josie Baker set out to break 80 at Mirfield. Unfortunately, she is already 12 over through 12. So she, I mean, anything's possible, but that would be, I mean, that that would be, that'd be a different episode. Hailing from Northern Ireland is Lucy Simpson. She's seven over going into the third episode and she needs to go two under in the remaining six holes. That is possible. Last, but certainly not least, is Clara Young. She's uh, the pro from down the street. She's attempting to break 75 here at Mirfield. Very possible, especially with the fact that she's one over through 12. She's playing very well today. And, you know, it's fun to kind of, reminds me of the early episode with Joe Hooks, a pro, um, playing alongside some non-pros. So that's what we've got here. The recipe is intact. Let's get on to the 13th hole. While this par three on paper may seem inviting, it is an intimidating tee shot. The green is small, elevated, and slopes back to front and left to right. Anything short is in trouble, and these greenside bunkers are the toughest on the golf course. Much like the other par threes at Mirfield, middle of the green here is very good. I'm thinking it's probably a five iron. Yep. You know, okay. Going up this hill and into the wind, yeah. probably take a couple extra clubs. Ace cam is live on the 13th hole here. Josie with a five iron. You heard it here first. Well, actually, you heard it from her and her caddy first. But anyway, that's going to be a little bit of a block to the right. <laughs> Lay up on a par three. Sometimes it is like that. Huh. And for a taste of contrast, Lucy. Is that on the last hole? Not quite. On the left side. This is where someone in your group says, the green is wide open. And you sort of don't take that as welcoming as they might have meant it. <laughs> Can Bella find the green? Uh, I think that's a little... Too good. Too good. I mean, a lot of things to like about Clara's swing. This is a beautiful hole. I just wish I'd hit the green. It's probably the signature hole. We're yeah, the that's really. what one of the other guys is saying. Yeah. I think I've got good feeling though. I'm thinking up and down. It's nice when they tell you it's a signature hole after. <laughs> I think Mirfield doesn't have a true signature hole. Right side will kind of come in to the left. Okay, cool. And as so just, say, we'll go to the backstop. If we do catch it a wee bit. Right, so just hit a high shot, yeah. just right over that second bunker, and it'll just Should come in. a little left. What a hard shot. Nice. With that pin. Yeah, well played. Yeah, we'll take that every day. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Touched it. I was so good. <laughs> That's exciting. Oh, well, oh. well done. Yeah, great. Nice out. Okay. 10 pounds for an up and down. You want it? Deal. Easy par for Clara and a clean back nine start. Oh, wow. That was the up and down that we were looking for. Unbelievable.
also a putt. Wow. Welcome back, I meant, to Breaking Near Field, where people get up and down from all over the links. Come on. Knock it in, Bella. Oh, no. What an exciting hole. Oh, you 10 pounds. Yeah, you won that bet. Double it off into the next hole. That's you, owe, you owe everybody <laughs> watching 10 pounds, Bella. That's an expensive bet. All right, folks, you know what time it is. If you've seen the other two episodes, you know that I have something very important to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about this stuff right here. Have you seen it? Can you see it? I know you can see it. It's all right here. It's the simplest way to get you nutrition for mental health, gut health, and balance. What I really like about Athletic Greens is that it clears all the clutter in my closet. I don't have to worry about mixing a bunch of supplements together. One of the other things I like about Athletic Greens is the flavor. It doesn't taste like a nutritional drink. It kind of just tastes like, I don't know, like if you were to travel to like a remote village in Thailand and have the freshest water with the freshest grass. That's what I would call it. I mean, it's much cheaper too than that. If you go to athleticgreens.com slash RGC, you're gonna get five free travel packs and a year supply of vitamin D3 K2. I've incorporated this into my daily routine to help support energy and immunity, which has been really exciting because I don't ever get sick. And I honestly, you know, priceless at that point. Athleticgreens.com slash RGC. Thank you, Athletic Greens, for making this video possible. Hole 14 features an elevated tee to a fairway riddled with fairway bunkers. If you manage to hit the fairway, you'll have a long way onto a plateau green that falls away on all sides. Any errors on this hole can be costly as the green side bunkers are almost a guaranteed drop shot. Finally, a good one. Yep. Finishing that one. Yep. Okay, great. Shot. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 Yep
I had a terrible short game because I just putted everywhere. <laughs> well, so you can do that in Scotland, yeah. though. That's the other thing. Yeah. Like, and I never mm -hmm. would do anything else. I would just get the putter out from like, right. here, from 40 yards away. But like, that's not even a bad place to be there. Like, but it just now meant, you're better than that. You yeah. can hit better shots, but it just meant that I'd yeah. never like chipped. I would go about three rounds without chipping. <laughs> Up the hole slightly here. Oh, another long putt, Paul. Yes. Yeah, it's a on, day man. of long putts. Do you want another bet? I'll do my, my double or nothing. So you get you get 20. I go back to all square. Dill? All right. So if you're listening, just log in, I guess, to the app and put your banking details because you've got $20. <laughs> I mean, wow, that's strange. I just clearly really thought that was downhill. Get up over the hill. Uh, it seems to be a tricky read. Yeah, uh, just a little bit more. Yep, I was afraid of sending it off the green. <laughs> the three putt, you know, I mean, no one likes that. No one. My gravestone's going to say something like, he would have putted four times if he'd lived that long. <laughs> done. Two pars in a row. <laughs> Nice, Josie. Fifteen is the start of a difficult closing stretch. Accuracy is everything on the approach. The green here is known locally as the camel's back and it is aptly named. If the approach lands anywhere except the right side of the screen, three putts are certainly in play. Not to mention the five greenside bunkers guarding the difficult putting surface. And that's the typical Lynx T shot phrase is we'll see. I don't know. I mean I hit a perfect drive. We'll see. Oh no, get around the bunker. Oh, it's gone right in it. Yeah. That's tough from oh. the rough to the bunker. That sort of eats at your soul a little bit. Start thinking about how much your clubs are worth. Flying lunch has done really well. Kept in the fairway. Mainly out of bunkers. When she has been in trouble, just take your medicine and get out. Hole number 15. Time is 
quarter to eight in the evening. A bit of cracking drive there. Um, we're holding on. The vibes slipped a little bit there. I don't know, the, the vibes did a few putts, slipped the vibes, but confident for a little comeback on this hole. No complaints. How are you doing, Paul? How are Very your vibes? Well. Can't complain. No complaints. No complaints. Here. Zero. We're just happy to be here. Exactly. I think, you know, when you make your way around the back, the middle of the back nine, everybody gets a little tired. You know, we need to start talking about this. We need to normalize sort of back nine exhaustion. Oh, no. Because um, it's happening. Your decision making ability goes down. You end up putting yourself in bad positions and you don't have the ability to sort of talk yourself out of it or even bounce back. You're just like a tired fighter who's been rope doped for two and a half hours, just waiting for that big punch so you can go back to sleep. Sort of, I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's just me. <laughs> I don't know. So she's um, chipping out sideways here. Jos, come on. Just gonna give this maximum speed. Here we go. Now, now she's going back to the hole. If I get out of this, I'll be very happy. Nice shot. Oh. Well done. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> we're out here and we're getting out of bunkers. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Sit. Sit. Yeah, we'll take that. What yeah. an interesting putt coming up, up and round the houses. Thank God it's not pay per putt, right? Yes. Because it'd be an expensive round, pay per putt. That's a good point. I never thought of that. That would mean that the better golfers would be getting better rates. Oh, dear. I suppose that's actually, that's, that's kind of like a golf rewards program. Paper shot. I'm gonna look into instigating that. Maybe I'll call the PGA after this. All everyone would do is go, they'd take a cart, they'd skip the first 16 holes, 17th at Sawgrass. Oh my God, $4. <laughs> Paper minute would be cool. People would play a lot faster. That'd be interesting. You'd have people aggressively playing through. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, wow. I hear I am talking in her backswing. Finally gets another birdie on the card to get back to even par. Clara, great play. That was exciting. She's, uh, she's good on the greens, so. That's her boyfriend, everybody. He is trying not to get in her head. Let's look at the camera. No, I'm trying to like, be a bit edgy, you know, just like, yeah, she's pretty good. Nice par. I don't know if there was a bet on that one, but you might owe Bella money. I would look into it. Clean card for Lucy as well. Got three holes left. I can't even believe that. I like it's don't flowing. even want it to end. To no, be honest, it's, like, it's just such a nice evening. The long par three sixteenth almost always plays into the wind and can be deceptive. There is effectively only half of the green in play, as anything close to the front will likely roll back into a bunker, rough or the hollow in front of the green. Sticking to the middle of the green is always the play here. Right. 
You know, Claire is just playing the, you know, five paces on the green. Five paces on the green. She's not looking at the pin, really. That's something Annika did. Annika would say, I, I hit to the middle of the green and I putt to the edges. And she shot 59, so. Nice shot. Get up. Look at this coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Good shot. Well done. <laughs> lovely yeah. people, lovely course. What more do you want? Yeah. I mean, I almost saw a hole in one a moment ago. Very satisfying. Have you had a hole in one? No, never. Wow. Never before. No. Holes in one. I have three holes in one. Um, two with a seven iron. Really like that club. One with a nine iron at my ago. home course. Uh, not had any as a pro though, so that's the goal this year. I was close about a month ago to hole in one, six iron in France, hit it, it like ran over the right edge of the hole, finished up a foot away, and I would have won a Jaguar car. Would have just driven it back from France, but didn't win it, so it doesn't really matter. That would be a fun road trip hole in one car international edition nice out I've got so much practice for my bunker game today I will say that's one thing that this golf course is fantastic for <laughs> Clara just with a bunch of tap ins, and then every once in a while she makes a birdie. Jeez, look at that golf game. I think the par three is an under par. <laughs> when you realize that you're under par on the three pars, it's a good feeling. <laughs> Oh, no, set. Oh, that's a bit long. Oh, that's a short. Still three. Yeah. Three. Three. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Way to pass. I'd pay money for three days. Yeah, I mean, I'd be curious to see the stats here. Like, I think one of Clara's strongest parts of her game is putting, right? She never leaves it more than a foot or two away. It's kind of impressive. <laughs> oh, another power. It's definitely felt a bit easier on the back nine. A um, bit more into the groove, a few more pars, a few less mistakes, two holes to go. We'll see what happens. The penultimate 17th is a pretty straightforward dog leg bluff par 5 that is reachable in two under the right conditions. It is an opportunity to get a shot back after playing the tough stretch of 13 through 16. The green is receptive and mostly flat, but it's protected by dunes at either side of a small entrance at the front. From this tee, probably it's taken further. Five, yeah. From this tee, you know, maybe between the bunker and the gap in the trees. Okay. Well, you know. Let's go. 
It's not a tracer <laughs> error. That's a. Blame it on the runny nose. That might be a, a mistake. Do I get a mulligan? Can I pay for Player my mulligan? Mistake. <laughs> we could incorporate mulligans in a later series. A little late for this one, though. Yeah, that's today. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. You can get a, a hybrid of it. There you go. Oh, what a recovery. What a recovery. The crowd goes wild. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Solid effort. Yeah. Well done. Us. <laughs> it's 167 to the top of that bunker, so I mean, you've got to have it in eight years. You Is right? that the top of the bunker on top. the line with the flags? On the line with the flags, 167 yeah. to the top of that bunker, so you're looking at 175 over it. I was just kind of... Almost open the face a little bit and try and get a bit steeper on it. Should get it up hopefully. <laughs> That's exactly what she said she'd do. That was good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have that ability. That was a good shot. <laughs> No, I wasn't too mine. It's had the practice swing and it was a bit juicy. Yeah. <laughs> You're about 150, 160 to clear those bunkers and then it's okay. a clear run all the way in. So okay, I would just cool. hit your... Just hit the three wood. Three wood. That one. <laughs> third, third guess. <laughs> yeah, good ball. Nice ball. Yeah, thanks. Pretty good swing there. Right. Yeah, very good. It's good running. Good swing. But 140 to go over the bunkers. How far to the pin? To the pin. I'm talking still 230. Okay, dog. You can do it. Not, not ideal. Oh, that's from the most optimistic caddy I've ever had. Not you, Paul. He just goes forget this hole. He's giving up. Not looking good. The vibes are about to rapidly uh, deplenish. If you want to know, we're in the coffin bunker. The coffin bunker? The only one on the course with a name. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we're visiting. <laughs> Not in your field if you don't go in the I coffin. I mean, God, I'd be so upset if I didn't go in the coffin bunker, to be honest. Well, I mean, thank goodness. Why do they call it the coffin bunker? Because of the shape of it and you're pretty dead if you go in it. Who would have guessed that? Not me. Well. R.I.P. <laughs> really? So par 5, 17. I thought that I'd hit a good drive. I can maybe get there in two, but winged it out right a little bit. So we've got maybe about 70 or 80 yards. Try and get it up and down be one under playing 18. That's the goal. A little birdie par finish would be majestic. I was trying to shoot better than 75, I thought, because it's quite a tricky course. Even though I've been playing all right recently, I would have been happy with 74 or better. But no, I think trying to shoot under par is probably the goal, readjusted. Look at, it. Look at this one. Look at this one. Friendly. Easy. Then we have the coffin. That is, that is, ri I mean, <laughs> never been sensible. Why start now, Paul? Go for it. I feel it. like if you were traveling with Paul, you could get into some sticky situations. You could end up in, you know, Montenegro with sort of no map and a dead phone. Perfect. 
Hey, at least we're out. No! No! It all falls apart at the end. Oh. You're gonna put this in? I hope so, Let's yeah. Let's see an eagle. <laughs> Come on. How are you playing, relatively speaking? Pretty good, I'm level par. Um, you wanna be three under. I, I, level I par like is just that. like, yeah. mm, the tea's lukewarm. You're like, I'll get a refresh. I respect that. I don't know what that's like. Give us a chance. What's your best score? Well, 67. Well, you do know what that's like, then. <laughs> it was one, it was a one shot. My next best score is like 73. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you're right. Still. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Because it's 71 and you're even. Yeah, I'd have to so dunk this dunk and this, dunk my approach on 18. If you dunk, if you, you just need eagle, eagle. Go. Yeah, she almost put one close. in. Come on, yeah, put it in. Yeah, I just need to hit a bit harder just, than I'm that. thinking just all, all net. <laughs> Nothing but net. Okay, I love that. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> 60 yards. 60. 60. Okay. Just aim for the target that's twice as big as the ball. Thank you for the divot trace for Elliot. Just, see, I give her a line and she ends up 20 feet away. She should have played her way, which was short of the hole and roll it in. No spin, no sauce. Maybe it was no spin. Wow, look at that mound of earth. It's like Lord of the Rings. Wow, right on line. Oh, I helped you out big time there. A little backstopping. I don't know if that's legal. Nice par. Kind of uphill. It's really flat. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of superstitious about marking it. One time at Q School, I didn't mark it and missed like a one foot pot. So ever since then, I've been like marking everything. <laughs> Honestly, that was only a triple. Bella, it looked like a 10. I don't know how many times you hit it. I'm not, maybe some, maybe there's an accounting error, but good eight. Nice, Josie. Birdie. First birdie of the day for Josie. Nice. Nice to see on 17. It's sort of like keep you coming back. Nice. Watch me miss this now that I've marked it. You better not miss it. You have to make this. There we go. Just kidding. <laughs> the finishing hole at Mirfield is one of the best. A medium length R4 with a relatively skinny fairway at its narrowest point. The green is long and rising with two distinct bunkers protecting its left and right edges. It has a beautiful backdrop of the famous Mirfield Clubhouse. The donut bunker on the green's right side is iconic and can be an issue for anyone unfortunate enough to find it. So Lucy, you're the only one in the group who hasn't had a birdie? Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> is Tell the 18th a birdie hole? Probably not. It's 420. Uh, <laughs> crosswind. You got some big bunkers. What's the length of your drive? Uh, about 220. Yeah. You got some big bunkers on the left, right about at your landing area. All right. But I want to see you make it three. How It'd be like an eagle. It would be like a hole in one. If you make, <laughs> <laughs> if you make, a, if you make a birdie here. Yeah. Are you gonna buy me a pint? Yep. Um, I'll buy you a pint. Come on. How, who thinks Lucy can make a birdie here? Because everyone's had a birdie oh, but her. We yeah. gotta do this. Oh, she's gonna birdie this. Manifest it. Well, if she eagles it, it, it. An eagle would. She would need to hole out from 200 yards. Yeah. It's a par four, no? Yeah. Or is this playing like a five? Four. You got this. I got it. You're wearing the hat and everything. I can't believe you just did that to me. I, I hope it doesn't, like, I hope you don't just, like, snap hook it left off the tee.
final drive here from Josie, it's a big moment, you know? This is the last time you're going to put a ball on the tee for breaking Mirfield. Josie looks like she's maybe right edge of the fairway there. Clara Young. Man, she, she got through that one. Nice ball. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if she's gonna like, you know, locally, you know, be be like more famous now. She's already clearly well known for her golf swing and her golf game, but maybe now people will be like, oh, you're on random golf club films. I don't know. I'm just imagining how cool that would be. Not for her, but more for me. <laughs> Lucy, not afraid of any ghosts on this hole. Very good. Well done. That's a good buddy, buddy layout. All right, Bella Angel. Sort of a chicken dance. I don't know if that's sort of a pre-shot routine or whatever. Uh, in the news this week, Bella Angel joined uh, the Live Tour. That was kind of a surprise to me. I guess there's a lot of negotiations going on over there. Uh, so congrats to her on her new career. And congrats on hitting the fairway. That's exciting. 18th hole, and as the four champions of breaking Mirfield walk up the final fairway here, as the sun is setting and the storm has passed them, they will etch their names, not so much in a trophy, but more on YouTube. It's definitely been a game of two halves today. I think the front nine, a little bit nervous. Um, get a little bit quick when I'm nervous, so I just kind of started forgetting about my score. Back nine's been like quite solid, a lot of up and downs, a lot more pars, a lot less bogeys. Lucy is trying to make a three. And that couldn't be any better. Wow. Just cuts it in there. Look at that ball. Is that, was that Annika or was that Lucy? Just an easy little hybrid. It's been amazing. Can't believe it's the 18th. Um, absolutely stunning finishing hole and uh, yeah, I've got a chance for a birdie so we shall see. Hopefully the final full shot of the day. That's what I'm hoping for here. 55 front, 17 on, so 172 up the hill. 172? It seems so much longer. There's some bunkers. It's playing 190. Okay. We can get 190. We can get oh. 190. We're not going oh to this time. Look, it's a game of misses. Make it stop. Ooh, it's left. I'm glad she said it's left because we don't have a tracer on it. I don't know what happened. It's actually quite thick here. Definitely had worse slides today than that. Clara from the rough. Cover the bunker, come on. Nice shot. How has this been different from playing professional golf, like in a tournament? Uh, not too different. If I've got a good group, I like to just chat to them. Right. Uh, like the last few events I played with girls I know quite well, and we just, we just, oh, I'm about to just, like cuss and say a cuss word, but you can say whatever the, we f the shit, want. Like <laughs> we bleep them out anyway. <laughs> Overall, I would say this day has been tremendous. Brilliant golf course. Couldn't have asked for better weather. No complaints. How hard do you reckon this golf course is played today? Because I'm going to say it, it's oh, been quite easy. It's one of the hardest courses in the world, without a doubt. But today has been the yeah. best conditions you could play it in. Like... No, no, no. It's been windy. Really? We just add some sound windy. effects to this yes. video. It's been windy. <laughs> Do you know how many 54 mm. shots we've had today? And every yeah. single one of them has been crap. Yes, yeah, this could be our shot, Paul. Yes, it will be. The final 54. <laughs> That's a great looking golf shot. <laughs> Love the reaction. Jeez, are you kidding me? Look at that shot. There it is, everyone. Finally, a good, a good 54. I reckon we can hold that one. It's gonna be a par. Got this for I think 70. One under, what's the par, Brian? 71? 71 71 par? par. 71. Yeah, this is for 70. It would have been nice if it was to break 70, but Clara, just the ever professional, just never satisfied. 
Oh wow, that's almost like her worst putt of the day. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh, I hit the line. Oh, come on, Lucy. You know what might have happened is sometimes over here in Scotland, the weather drops so quickly towards the end of the day and the greens get um, they get a bit of condensation, and so it's easy to leave them short, as every person did. So I think it's not their fault. We should just give them all the putts. So we got birdie, birdie. <laughs> amazing. That's an amazing. Wow. Whoa, whoa. I mean, that was like 8% in. Good shot. Great back nine. Where are we? Where's Brian? 71. I think. And I wish I could really like bring to mind the feeling of being there for this final moment here. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Thank you to the RNA for your support. And thank you to the Mirfield and the Honorable Company of Edinburgh Golfers for allowing us into your world for the day. It's great. Yeah, they'll never, ever forget this, and neither will I. What a cool moment. I will hopefully forget how long my hair was. Uh, I think I donated it to my dog. That was epic. It was so fun. Y'all are so great. Thank you. That was great. That was absolutely fantastic. Everybody's fantastic. Simon, give me a hug. Heck yeah. I think it would be difficult to find another experience like that one that we just had and you come away just buzzing that you know you just played a, an amazing venue and it's been such a good time so we yeah. survived yep. <laughs> we did unbroken i would say unbroken yeah. unbroken yeah. definitely unbroken i mean i did better than what i was trying to do i think i shot even so pretty happy it's a really great round yeah, yeah. very sorry Probably that's my best round around here so yeah amazing happy. good day to have it yeah <laughs> i was going off vibes <laughs> and I want to say the vibes were high. Were good, good vibes. The vibes were immaculate. Good vibes. So. I agree. Yeah. My school was good. <laughs> no, I wanted to break 100, so I think she did. Oh did I break 100? Oh, yeah. 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 By a country. Probably about 15 to 20 yeah. shots. Yeah. yeah. 15 to 20 yeah. shots. You see? For sure. Yeah. Aim low, you can always hit it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was only a couple of shots worse, maybe, than my school. I missed them a lot wrong place a lot today. <laughs> you saw a lot of beach. <laughs> yep, I saw a lot of beach. It was like being back in California. Um, but yeah, no, I did not play my best today at all. Um, but I don't even really care all that much just because of how much fun it was and what a great day it was. But I say I probably didn't break 90. <laughs> A well, group hug, everyone. Yeah. Good, yes. Good game. Thank you for well everything. Done, As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching uh, the films that we create at Random Golf Club. Make sure to check out randomgolfclub.com. Also, feel free to sign up to our email list and send us messages, comments below on where you want us to do the next breaking series at. We're always looking for new places to film the series, and we want to go where you want us to go. <laughs>